Hello, my name is Taka, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to add a custom font into the ClickFunnels editor. Now there are two different ways to do this. The first one is you finding a typeface or fonts on Google Fonts, and then adding that into the editor, which is a different process to having a font on your local machine and then adding it into your funnel. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you both ways. The first one is a little easier uh, using Google Fonts. The second one, if you have your own custom typeface that you love um, and that you've grown familiar with or it's part of your brand and that you need to add it into your ClickFunnels uh, sales pages, then I can also show you that. So the first one is gonna be Google Fonts. Cool, so you guys should be seeing my screen now and what you're seeing is um, of my funnel page for demonstration and custom fonts. I have two steps and it doesn't really matter which one you're on at the moment, just find a page that you wanna start working from uh, and we're gonna go from there. You might be wondering why I am trying to teach you guys <laughs> how to pull in Google Fonts when you actually go into the editor and you go into settings, you see a font family and it's pulling from Google Fonts. Uh, and it's because I ran into this issue a few times where I'm looking for a specific font, but I cannot find it in this list. At the top here, I have two Google Fonts uh, pages open. These are the same, basically. One is um, the the classic, and one, uh, this, this is the new one, and then this is the classic Google Fonts site. What you want to do is you want to go into the settings section and in the settings, you're going to see this head tracking code. Now remember this section. All right. So find a font that you want. And in my case, I'm going to do Caladia. So you're welcome to join me in the Caladia journey. Um, and this is on the new Google font site. And this is on the old one. I can do it both at the same time. Uh, so when I click on this guy, I'm going to select this font. And you see that one family is selected. Bam. In the new one, I'm going to have four different selections. I'm just going to pull in the ones that I need, right? So I'm going to pull in regular. I'm going to also pull in the bold 700 and bold 700 italic. Why am I pulling in very specific ones and not everything? Because it doesn't make sense for you to be pulling all these data when you don't need to. And for SEO purposes, you want to be loading as little as possible so that your website is faster. So in the new Google Fonts uh, website, I'm going to, you'll see that view your family selected at the top right. I'm going to click on that and it should show me the things that I've selected. Regular 400, bold 700, bold 700, 700 italic. Wow. Uh, in the old Google Fonts, you'll already see, uh, you, yeah, I don't know if I can, yes, I can customize it. So I'm pulling on regular, bold and bold. Mm, don't worry about that. And you see, look at that, low time, moderate. And it'll tell you, right? If I don't need it, don't bring it in. You wanna go to the embed section in both of them. So there's embedded in this one, the other one. I wanna go ahead and copy this. And you'll see that it says to embed a font, copy the code inside of the head of your HTML. And I think it should say that here. To embed your selected fonts into web page, copy this into the head of your HTML. And if you guys remember where we were at before, if you go into the ClickFunnels, into the settings of your funnel, you see that head tracking code. So this is this is somewhere where you want to be pasting this guy in. So you're going to go ahead and copy by Command C or Control C if you're on Windows, and you're going to be pasting this into the head tracking code. And why are we doing it here? It's because we want to be applying this to the whole. Uh, funnel, right? Not just one page. And so it says funnel wide tracking code for the head tag. That's great. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and then go save and update settings. When that is done, we're going to be going into specific funnels and you're basically going to have to do this once and you could copy the style onto the next page. Uh, this is a little bit of the, the tedious cumbersome part if you have 10 pages or so. So for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have a heading. Let me just delete this guy. Come on, let me just delete this guy. So I'm gonna add a headline. Underneath that, I'm gonna add a subheadline. Uh, I'm gonna have a paragraph. 
And of course, everyone's favorite, a CTA. Sorry, it's not a favorite. You just need it if you want to make if you want to make some sort of conversion on ClickFunnels. What we're essentially going to be doing is we're going to be pointing at these specific styles and we're going to override what's happening in the back. So currently what's happening is that ClickFunnels uh, has provided us with a certain set of amount of uh, uh, fonts. Um, so right now we can go to settings in these and we can go and change a font. But because we don't want to be using these fonts, we want to be using our own Google fonts, we're going to override kind of the system, kind of like overriding, but it's not, it's not really, I mean, it is. So what you want to go, <laughs> um, is go into settings and you're going to go into custom CSS. If there is some CSS in there from uh, someone's, or someone's work or you're using a template, just leave that alone. Don't touch it. You can just add it into the next line. Just scroll down and add it into the next line. That's fine. Um, I don't have an explanation of why these specific things are, are called out this way. So just bear with me. If you just want to copy me, copy what I'm doing, I'm going to try to explain what I'm doing at the same time. So first of all, I want to be calling upon the headline, right? The very, the top one. And so you guys can see what I'm doing at the same time. I'm just going to do this real quick. Uh, no, 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 uh, left, bam. Okay. And custom CSS. All right. So B is what's going to be your, uh, main head heading. Um, so you're going to type B and you're going to have this wiggly, uh, open, open mark. It should be right next to your P on your keyboard. So you're going to press shift and you're going to press open wiggle brackets and you're going to go to the next line. Um, and what you want to do is go back to where you got your font from. So your Google fonts, and you're going to see this says CSS rules to specify families. And it should say in the other one too. specify in CSS. Just go ahead and copy this command C control C and you want to just paste it right in there. And you're going to see behind this that my large call to action has changed into Caladia already. Look at that. Look, that's what my Caladia looks like. Look, it's not great. Okay. So I want my bold headline to be italic. So I'm going to go font style. I'm going to call out italic. Nice. And it's cool because you're kind of seeing this thing change in the back. And I want it to be bold. So I'm going to go font weight. Uh, what did I call Caladia? I'm calling 700. 700 is my bold. Look at that. Bam. Uh, I'm going to close wiggly brackets. And now you see that I am, uh, it, it, it's updating to Caladia and Caladia doesn't exist in the editor. So, um, ClickFunnels is basically contacting Google fonts and it's, it's communicating, uh, and it's pulling. So if I go save and I go preview, you're going to see that this is pulling Caladia and I can prove it to you. If I go inspect, right, look at that Caladia, Caladia Serif. Great. Okay. So your headline is going to be a little different. Your headline is dot HS capital S I Z E two open wiggly brackets. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy this command C, um, and make sure that you always have these, uh, end brackets and open brackets and you're ending all these with, uh, um, I do not remember the name of these guys, uh, because if you are missing one of these guys, sometimes it will break and it won't work. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have this in the description so that you guys don't have to do this. Or I could maybe share this funnel if you guys want to. Just let me know. Uh, so that should be calling out my my subheadline. I'm gonna go back into customs SCSS because I don't want this to be italic. So I'm gonna delete that line. My paragraph I is gonna be dot hs size one open wiggly. Uh, same thing, but I'm not going to want it to be italic and I want my font weight to be 400. 
right? You see that? Do you see it changing? This was before, and this is now. So it's pulling the Caladia. And then button, it's gonna be the last one that I'm gonna change here. It's gonna be dot L button main. Open that. Don't want it to be italic again, but I do want it to be bold. Look at that. I'm gonna refresh this. Cool, so now it's pulling Caladia. You might be wondering, um, what if you specifically have two fonts that you need to pull into your funnel. Let's do that, it's a journey. So I'm gonna to go to Google Fonts, and I'm gonna find a sans serif type that I like. Uh, and let's say I like, you know what, I like, I like Open Sans. And I want Open Sans Light. So I'm just gonna select the style, and you see that it adds onto this section that I had before. So now I have Caladia, I'm pulling in Caladia and Open Sans. And if you're in the old one, let me see, open sans. I'm gonna click the add button. In the family, I'm gonna go customize. I do want light only, All right? Low time, moderate, it's fine. I'm gonna go back to my embed. Uh, and you'll see that this section is updated. So before you only had uh, Caladia as something that is pulling in, but now it also has family of open sans. So I'm gonna copy that, command C. Control C. I'm gonna exit my, ooh, I'm gonna exit my editor. Yes, it's fine, I'll just leave. I'm gonna go back into my settings where I had my head tracking code. I'm gonna just go ahead and delete what I had before and copy this new tracking code. Make sure you save and update settings. Okay, now we're back into the editor and I wanna go back into my Open Sans or my Google Fonts page. Uh, and in the specify or CSS rules, I'm gonna pull this font family open sans part, command C, just that part, um, and then go into settings, custom CSS. My paragraph is dot HS size, so remember that, don't forget, dot HS size one is my paragraph. I'm gonna cop, yeah, I'm gonna select this and then paste the open sans sans serif. Make sure that your font weight is what whatever you pulled in. So I pulled in a f font weight of a light 300. So I'm gonna change this to 300. And you might notice that it hasn't pulled in what I wanted to in the editor. You see that light is pretty light. Um, and I don't know if it really reflects this. So when you go save though, um, and then you go into here, preview, refresh. Look at that. In in the in the preview section, it should reflect it as you wanted it to. Sometimes in the editor, it's not going to pull it for some reason. I'm not sure why. What you want to be doing though is you're going to go to settings. You're going to go custom CSS. You're going to go Command A, Command C. So if you're on your PC, you go Control. A and then control C, you're copying this whole thing. Find a document that's kind of like blank, notes or anything. Uh, just paste it in there. Uh, don't don't cut it. You're gonna control C, copy it. You're gonna close this, save. You're gonna exit uh, because this is what you're gonna be have to do for all 20 pages that you have, unfortunately. So I only have two pages in my funnel. Um, so I'm gonna go to my opt-in two. This is a page that I was working on before. Look at look at that! It's a beautiful website. Uh, I'm gonna go to settings, custom CSS, and this is my previous CSS. And I'm gonna paste whatever I had pulled in in the other one below it. And you will see if I go save and preview. Look at that. Sound great. And here's a bonus here. If if you want if you have a navigation and you want your font reflect that, you're gonna go into settings, custom CSS. Um, and it could be last, it could be first. I'm gonna put it last here. I'm gonna put UL uh, and I'm just gonna copy my button style and throw that in. 
and then your links should be Caladia or whatever you put in. Is that great? So I hope that made sense for you guys. Uh, maybe I missed out on something. If I did, just let me know and I can help you out. I'm going to be making a part two of this video. Um, the part two is for people who have a font that is downloaded onto their local computer that they want to bring into ClickFunnels. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's going to be a little bit more cumbersome than this process, but it shouldn't be that much harder. So stick around. Thanks guys.